Hello folks, Jose here with another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use a number of computer programs and I have gotten used to using Control z as a shortcut to undo previous actions. The issue I found with Photoshop is that when you hit Control z it will undo the most recent action and then if you hit it again, it will redo the action which can be frustrating when you're used to hitting Control z to undo multiple actions. Let me demonstrate here. So for example, in this photo that I have here, or this image that I have here, if I wanted to get rid of the whole thing here that says keyboard shortcuts, I would hit Control z, z normally. It would start undoing my actions. But as you can see here, I hit it. It undoes one action, then I hit it again, and it redoes the action. In order to get rid of the whole thing, I have to hit Control Z, uh, Control Alt and Z, and then it does the multiple actions. It undoes multiple actions. This this is not really what we want. I want it so that Control Z on its own will undo multiple actions. In this tutorial, we're going to take steps to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is click here where it says Window. You'll get a drop down menu. And then here you have a section that says workspace and then a new menu opens here scroll down to where it says keyboard shortcuts and menus go ahead and click on that now you'll be presented with this new window and what the, there's two tabs here one says menus and one says keyboard shortcuts click on the keyboard shortcuts uh, tab and then what we want to do is we want to here we have a number of options starting with file edit image and so on Click on Edit, and you'll get a few options here. And now the, the option that we want to change is this one that says Step Backward. And now you'll see this is highlighted and ready for us to change. So the way that you change the shortcut is simply go to your keyboard and hit the Control key with the Z. And now you're getting this warning message, Control Z is already in use and will be removed from Edit under Redo if accepted. Basically, it's telling us there's a conflict here with this other shortcut, and uh, but that's okay. This is what we want, so click on Accept and go to Conflict. As you can see now, the conflict has been removed. So we wanna we can do two things. We can delete this shortcut altogether, but we might still want to use it because uh, sometimes you want to undo things and redo things just to see what looks better. So in this one, on your keyboard, hit Control, Alt, and Z and it'll assign that shortcut to this function. So essentially we flipped the shortcuts uh, around. Now that once you're happy with how it looks, click on accept and then okay. And folks, that's all there is to it. Now control Z will work for multiple undos. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out my YouTube, my uh, webpage at WPBasics.com dot org for other great tutorials. Thank you. Bye-bye.